The puck around to the far horn. Shen moves down for the right point, but it's tipped past him. Maddie Beneers giving chase. Hughes gets there first. Beneers checks him though, tries to center. Peterson came back to step in front of Everly. And Hughes gets the puck behind his own net. Banks it to center. Kuzmenko. Nice pass. Pedersen's in. Elias Pedersen in front. They score! It doesn't run. No, I know, but Kuzmenko really created this play at center ice. Uh, he attracted a crowd, and that let Elias Pettersson do his thing. And here's Pettersson, protects the puck, and then throws that beautiful cross-ice pass. And look at Lane Peterson, chips it up and over Martin Jones. Pettersson, aerial pass, and Peterson puts it away. Peterson was so hot in the American League, and... Uh, that was a nice skilled goal there on the finish. Kuzmenko after the puck had his stick lifted by Will Bork. Jarred free by Peterson and had his stick lifted out of his hands. Puck sent to the blue line. Stillman. Wrist shot. Jones the save. Big rebound. Backhander by Peterson. And he couldn't put it home for his second of the game. Here's Peterson back to Stillman. Kuzmenko. Cross to Shen. Luke Shen with a wrist shot. Tipped in by Peterson. Get their second goal. Elias Pedersen on the redirect, and it's three to two. Well, this line's had some magic here in this game, and Bruce Boudreau. Oh, do you miss Elias Pedersen? And he, oh, that's a dumb question. Elias Pedersen's back, involved in both goals. This one, he just gets beside the net. Luke Shen wrist shot, and there's Elias Pedersen. Gets a piece of it, gets it by Martin Jones. A wrist shot, get it by the first guy, and that's what. Luke Shen does, and you can see that's off his stick. Elias Pedersen gets it off his stick. I thought it might have hit his knee and gone in, but he directs it past Jones. Pedersen from Shen and Kuzmenko. So Elias Pedersen has a goal and an assist. Kuzmenko has two assists. Nearing the five minute mark, third period. Burroughs gloved that one away. Schwartz picks it up, moves in. Three Seattle players on this rush. Chancellor Burakovsky trying to get it across. Gord had a wide open net, but the pass never made it. Back comes Kuzmenko, Ekman Larson, Peterson to Pedersen. Across, Peterson in front, Kuzmenko scores! This line's produced all the offense. A goal and two assists for Kuzmenko, and a three-point night for Pedersen as well. The Canucks are back within a goal. Well, the defensive play in the Canucks zone, that could have been an empty netter for Yanni Gord, and the Canucks come right back this line. Too bad they couldn't play every shift, and you can see Peterson gets the pass from Pedersen to Kuzmenko, who misses the tip in, but he stays with it and then just chips it over Martin Jones. Tic-tac-toe. 14th of the year for Andre Kuzmenko. So each member of that line has a goal. Rink wide to Miller. Puck bounced over his stick. He's able to collect it. Backhanded to Hughes. Quinn Hughes with a wrist shot. That hit Horvat and went wide. Now Pedersen with a nice move along the boards. Finds Horvat. Across to Miller with Rink. Dessers in front. JT Miller back to Quinn Hughes. Pedersen fakes the one-timer, passes one in front, tipped in. There's Brock Besser. Brock Besser on the backhand, able to knife it into the goal. And the Canucks on the power play are back within one. Well, we were wondering why Andre Kuzmenko wasn't out there. And it's Brock Besser who cashes in. Backhand. And again, it's that positioning. Uh, uh, Elias Pedersen with the perfect pass. Here's Pedersen, you talk about the power play and what he adds to the power play. And watch Seattle go to Pedersen. Look at the two guys, the defenseman and the high forward go to Pedersen. And so Brock Besser, perfect pass. He's got some room on the backhand. All he has to do is direct it. He steers it past Martin Jones. Fourth point of the game for Elias Pedersen. Besser's fifth goal of the season. Three of them on the power play. And the Canucks back within one. Dumps one around for JT Miller. Miller sends it back to the other side. Pedersen gets the puck to the blue line, finds Hughes. Miller takes his pass. JT Miller to Quinn Hughes. Elias Pedersen shoots, and that hit a body in front. 
Here's Miller. 90 seconds to go. Hughes, one timer, loose puck. Miller gets it, sends it across. Pedersen scores! Five points for Elias Pedersen. Fourth time in his career he's done that, and he is fired up. Minute 20 to go, and the Canucks have tied at 5 5. Bruce Boudreaux was worried about the six days off. He was like, well, he hasn't skated the six days, and I don't know how strong he'll be, and whether he can come right back in. His timing might be off. Well, wow, what a game for Elias Pettersson. And JT Miller with a good pass across, and Pettersson with a perfect timing shot. Dave Martin Jones, no chance to come across. Down to one knee, get the legs in position. You can see the bench react. Got a timeout called now. Or are they challenging? I don't think there's a challenge here. I think it's just a timeout. As Pedersen with a minute 20 to go ties the game up. He now has 21 points in 10 games against Pacific Division opponents this year. This is amazing. The game is a matter most. He's played his best. That's right. And his line has just dominated in this game. There's Lane Peterson beside him. He's giving a tap on the shoulder. The ice is gonna break. There you go. Break it down. Look at that plus minus two. Back to play. Can Elias Pettersson cap a remarkable night? Yes! What a game for Elias Pettersson. Five points, tied it late, wins it in a shootout. And the Canucks come back to beat Seattle 6-5 to five and improve to 6-0 and oh against the Kraken. We talked about Elias Pettersson when he wasn't on the playing surface. We talked about his effect on the team. And boy, oh boy, look at this move. Fake, 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 forehead, backhand, forehand. You can see Martin Jones goes for the backhand. Look at Martin Jones push off. Yeah, there he goes. And even though he's tall enough and big enough to stretch out, Elias Pettersson's strong enough to slide it underneath. Just got it underneath. Off the skate, off the post, and in. And you can see his buddy Brock Besser. And how'd it go, Elias? What a relief for the Vancouver Canucks who looked in dire shape in the second period when they went down three to one on goals 10 seconds apart by the Kraken. Canucks have struggled so mightily at home. They've been hemorrhaging goals. They didn't play a great defensive game again in this one, but they will their way to victory. Pedersen, the catalyst, two goals, three assists, a shootout winner, and Vancouver ends its losing skin at home with a 6-5 win. Well, and another win for Spencer Martin. <laughs> Takes a loss and turns it into a win. Will he play again tomorrow? We'll find out. Canucks are in Edmonton for their final game before the holiday break. Six Pacific on Sportsnet. And then they return to action following the holiday break. Canucks host the San Jose Sharks before heading out on the road for two beginning in Winnipeg on the 29th of December. Commentators clothing provided by Jack Victor on a lively night at Rogers Arena. For a while it looked like the Canucks were going to lay another egg. Seattle had that big sequence in the second period, but Elias Pettersson put his team on his back, and Elias Pettersson willed them to victory. 6-5, Canucks in a shootout. Stay tuned. Danielle Michaud, Faisal Camisa, Sportsnet Central is next.